Hi everyone, Steve Young from The Design Defect, and I am playing Paladins for the PS4 today. Uh, I really wanted to share my impressions of a game that I feel like has been unfairly living under the shadow of uh, Overwatch. Uh, and it's it's kind of too bad. I know there was some controversy at first when this game came out, but in a lot of ways I think this game is actually a better game. There are also some ways where I think it's not quite as good. But uh, regardless, um, this is the PS4 version. I've played uh, a lot more of the PC version, but I was struggling to record uh, that uh, uh, version of it for whatever reason. Uh, I'm okay at the PS4 version, um, although I, I struggle with the controls a little bit, So, uh, which I'm going to get into here. Uh, uh, but um, as you can see right off the bat, one of the main differences, uh, even though I just kind of blazed through that really quickly, uh, I selected a, a loadout that will uh, directly impact um, this specific character. Every character has a different set of cards they can bring into battle that will modify that specific character's awesome. abilities. I don't think any characters have cards for the loadout that will transfer over into any other characters. Um, and so, anyway, what, what that does, uh, uh, that's, that's a little bit different from Overwatch. Um, is you actually get to level up your character sort of for, for real where uh, <laughs> uh, you can um, uh, acquire new cards and abilities not abilities but uh, uh, essentially it relates to better cooldowns and uh, just you can dramatically alter your playstyle for any specific character and uh, it's actually really cool to ex uh, experiment and Explore and see what other characters have done, or other players, excuse me, with uh, a same character, with a completely different uh, loadout. Um, so, uh, this character right here, as you can tell, is very, very similar uh, to Farah from Overwatch, uh, Drogos. And uh, right there, I just did that uh, uh, Spitfire attack where you, you literally throw out a, a fire loogie. And then if you hit it with your uh, a missile, uh, it's it has the exact same reaction as a shock rifle secondary primary attack uh, from uh, Unreal Tournament. Man, I missed that game. Um, but anyway, so uh, yes, this character plays a lot like Vera. And uh, one of the main differences, uh, you, you saw me do that uh, that rapid fire of uh, was it six successive missiles right there. Um, that's kind of similar to Farah's uh, uh, ultimate ability, um, where, where she rains down a ludicrous amount of rockets in a specific direction, but this isn't uh, your character's ultimate here. This is just, uh, that's just a move with a cooldown. And, oh, there, I just whipped so bad. Um, and it, it's Drogos's uh, most powerful move, in my opinion, it is. And, uh, so usually when I'm playing through a match, um, I try to gear uh, my character towards getting that ability more. Um, and uh, another ability that I was able to pick at the beginning, uh, or, or trait, uh, was the ability to do 35% more damage on a direct hit with a rocket. So that's why I'm trying, <laughs> attempting to lead targets and uh, just kind of hitting them in the face versus going for splash damage um so right there at the bottom of the screen right now you can see i've built up my ultimate i don't know when i actually use it here um uh, but uh his ultimate is dramatically different from pharaoh's and and that and, and honestly all the ultimates are a lot different um than, than the characters in overwatch I, i've always viewed uh overwatch ultimates as really like they take a lot less skill, in my opinion, um, and they do a lot more damage. Uh, in this game, I don't... Uh, it's not so much that they take less skill, but I think they do a lot less damage. So, Drogos' ultimate here... Oh, here, now I'm using it right now. I'm just going to fly at a character as fast as I can, and if I hit them, I just kill them instantly, regardless of how much health or anything. Now, that might sound a little OP, an instant kill like that, but... Uh, 
if you know it's coming, you can dodge it. Um, and and that attack does run out. Like it, it is. I've I've done it before where I will miss. I might even do it in this video and not hit anything, um, which uh, really does suck. But uh, the other side of that is if I do that into a pool of, of people, um, if even if I do kill one of them, there's a high likelihood that unless I have a planned escape route, they're just going to slaughter me as soon as I kill them. So it's, it's a lot unlike Ferris, where you can just do it at a distance and hope to be safe. Um, and I, th I think most of the specials are, are kind of like that. Uh, some are more powerful than others, certainly, but for the most part, I like that the game can essentially be won uh, uh, without having that crazy back and forth of, of ultimates where one, like in Overwatch, you basically just have to, whoever times using their ultimates, whichever team is better at timing that, um, encountering the other team's ultimates, they're probably going to win. And in this, I feel like there's more of a dance with, and, and reliance upon the actual uh, uh, on-foot combat, uh, which... Uh, the the gunplay in the game is, is pretty solid, I think, so I appreciate that. Now, um, you've seen a, a, a handful of times where I will go into a menu and uh, select a specific upgrade. Um, and uh, this is another area where this game, uh, in my opinion, has a slight one-up over Overwatch, though, though it comes with a caveat. And for me, it's a positive, but for some people, especially Five, if they're used to Overwatch, they might not like it. Three, so, two, no one has switched characters one. because you cannot switch characters in this game. Um, once you pick your character at the beginning of the match, you're stuck with them. Um, and I actually really, really appreciate that aspect of it. Uh, because, to me, it helps encourage more strategy and, and just developing your skills with one specific character um, versus, oh man, I was so bad. I think I died here. Oh yeah, I was so bad there. That was terrible. Um, and, okay, so here, yeah, there, well, I, I peeked at the menu, but I didn't actually pick anything because I think I'm saving up for something specific, for a specific attribute. Uh, but in any case, um, so what, what they do, since you can't change characters during the match, is they uh, they let you earn your XP, and then you can pick a specific um, buff to your, your character. Um, one that I always go for, if you see the very bottom right corner of the screen, that yellow icon with the uh, uh, timer in it, that represents uh, a, a speed up on the cooldowns for, for all my special abilities and stuff. There, that was a good shot. Um, and, uh, uh, for Drogos, who has some of the, oh man, look how bad that is, oh, I'm gonna get in the controls here really soon, I'm, I'm gonna explain, I'm not that bad, <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, so, so in any case, uh, yeah, Drogos has some of the biggest cooldowns in the game, specifically for that, uh, uh six shot, um, burst that I do, which I, I think by default is like 18 seconds or something like that, so I basically, do everything I can to mitigate that. And one of those things that I do is, is uh, uh, apply um, most of my experience to cool down early. Um, so by the end of the match, I think with all the other buffs and stuff I have, I'm, I'm probably doing more like, uh, I don't know, six, eight seconds. And, and then I also, based on how much I'm, I'm hitting the other player, like I think if I get direct hits, it reduces the cooldown even more. So, uh, I can almost just juggle it back and forth to towards the end of the match, um, if, if I've been playing pretty well. This is just an okay match for me here, but, uh, so, um, yeah, the, uh, the, there's more strategic, uh, things you can, you can buy for your character and upgrade to your character per match, um, uh, for, for example, if, if there's a character, like, you, you see the, uh, weird wizard dude there in the sphere. Um, he, he's got a shield, and there are a lot of other characters with shields. If there's a bunch of tanks with shields, uh, then you can get an ability that uh, allows you to do significantly more damage to shields. Um, and uh, uh, that... Uh, I didn't get it in this one, because there's just one guy with a shield, so I didn't feel like it was necessary. Um, but uh, there are plenty of times when I do purchase that. There's, there's others where if they have a bunch of healers, you can get an ability that'll uh, set it up so anytime uh, you attack someone, 
they uh, uh, are less receptive to um, healing mechanics. Zero is not a positive shot. Um, so, uh, I, I think you get what I'm saying here. Basically, in, uh, oh, here we go. So, I'm, yeah, there, that's the cooldown one. And I think I import something else. So, I go with kill to heal. So, every time I kill a player, um, I regenerate a, a fair amount of health. Once you lock into one of those categories, you saw there was red, blue, yellow, green. Uh, once you lock into one of those, you're, you're stuck only upgrading that category. You can't add multiple within, like, the, the damage category or the, the life regeneration category. Um, but, uh, so in any case, um, that, that's their way of, of, in my opinion, setting up the matches to be much more interesting, um, than, than in Overwatch. In Overwatch, you know, you come in and, uh, you can change characters depending on, on how the match plays out. And for some people, that's really interesting, and I do appreciate that, but honestly, I like the ability to just focus on the one character and come up with a strategy based on my one character, to, to try and overcome the other team. It's, there's something more meaningful to me about that versus, you know, in, in Overwatch, yeah, I, I swap characters quite a bit. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, based on how the other team is doing. But I kind of don't want to do that. I know a lot of people, you know, that would completely change Overwatch. That is how you get good at the game is recognizing the, the best character to play is depending on the situation and what you're best at doing too. So uh, in any case, next... Uh, the controls. I, I will get into this before I get into another positive here for, for this game, the Paladins, but um, uh, PC, obviously, they're, they're great. It's just your know, standard mouse and keyboard. It's pretty hard to mess up mouse and keyboard controls, I think. So, um, especially for a character like this where you have to read your shots, it's, it's so much easier on PC. Uh, for some reason, I, and, and you've You've probably seen me a couple of times mess with the controls in here, changing the acceleration and, and things like that. It's the controls just feel a little off to me, and, and which which is tough in a first-person shooter. Um, and the, comparatively, the the controls for Overwatch PS4 are phenomenal. I, I think they're excellent, um, pretty much on par with, with Halo level controls. So. Um, it's it's hard to really put a finger on it, but the I know the acceleration. It just feels way off, um, and uh, uh, because of that, 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 that's the one area where it's like, okay, it's still fun to play on a console, but, but like, without uh, rock-solid controls like a Halo or Overwatch, um, that's the only element that makes us a little tougher to recommend. However, I think that people find ways around that, and uh, honestly, I probably just haven't tweaked all the right knobs yet uh, to, to really uh, feel at home with it. But I also don't think I should have to. <laughs> Overwatch felt great out of the box. I'd had to do a couple of tweaks, but this I have. I feel like I'm constantly adjusting and, and trying something different. Um, so, well, there you go. There was the end of that match. Um, and uh, the... The only other point that I want to make um, now that it's over is uh, I I love the level design in Paladins. Uh, I, I far prefer it to Overwatch. Overwatch to me, I, I like the levels quite a bit, uh, but there's something about them uh, that I just can't quite put my finger on. Um, well, I can, actually. The, they... They feel abstract in, in layout, uh, but at the same time, they feel sort of art-driven. And they're not bad levels. I actually do like the levels quite a bit, but to me, it's just the uh, the Overwatch levels are uh, uh, are better laid out and better suited to the, the gameplay. Uh, or, or sorry, the Paladins levels. Did I say Overwatch? The Paladins levels are better laid out and much better suited to the gameplay. There you got your score screen, whatever else. Um, so, uh, with with that in mind, um, the levels in Overwatch uh, essentially are built around using the uh, the ultimates. Uh, they have these specific choke points, um, and sometimes the choke points have uh, roots around them that are designed for for you know using characters that are better at flanking and things like that. Um, and it, it just kind of turns into this 
Okay, we're gonna stop here at the choke point. Everyone's gonna beat each other up, and now we all build up our ultimates, and now whoever uses their ultimates better <laughs> winds up breaking through the choke point. Uh, and I know there's some, a lot of people will probably disagree with that assessment, but that's that's typically the way I've felt about the games, and it, it, that's a very high level, by the way. That's um, not necessarily exactly how the games always play out. Um, that, that's just how I've felt the, uh, the high-level design works for the most part. So, in any case, um, as you can tell running through the last level and now this one, uh, the characters, or the, or the levels rather, I mean, um, th there's a lot of routes and a good amount of cover, and, and I feel like uh, the levels cater very well to the uh, numerous uh, different characters uh, that, that are in the game. I, I forget exactly the number right now, but honestly it's changing all the time, so it'll probably change by the time this video comes out. Um, so. Uh, honestly, this is just my last point, was I think the levels in Paladins are very well designed um, and really catered to the, the game, one of the game's biggest strengths, which is just the, the layout and, and uh, how fun it is to, to navigate the play spaces with the different characters. Um, and I'm not saying it's super fun to navigate play spaces in Overwatch 2, uh, but... Uh, Honestly, it's probably more fun to, to run through a, a play space and with an Overwatch character, depending on who you pick, um, than it is to run through uh, in, in this game. But like I said before, I feel like with the, the excellent landmarking, the the well placed cover, um, the it they just uh, High Res has done such a good job with the levels. Um, they they all feel really fun to me. Um, and and I, I, I can, even though I'm only using Drogos in this play session, which honestly I should not do on the freaking console, I'm terrible with them on the console, um, I, I think the levels play excellent no matter what character you're playing as, and, and it's, it's another high point of this game. So last point I, I wanted to make then, I, I guess I said that was this point, so one more. This game is free. Um, it's, it's technically in beta, but I mean, it's, it's been out forever now, so... Um, Man, if, if you if you haven't been able to afford Overwatch, uh, you haven't played it, or you are curious about the hero genre, just pick this up. It's it's uh, it's excellent. Or if you got burned out on Overwatch, you you might dig this. Um, it, it's on everything, so you know, PC, PS4, whatever. It's it's great on everything. I think it's best on. Um, PC, obviously, but it's still great on here. I, I have a ton of fun playing it on here. And uh, I think the patches are uh, one version. They're only one version behind from uh, PC, so, which is common for uh, games like this. But, um, yeah, I, I, I give this a very high recommendation, uh, especially for zero dollars. I haven't had to spend anything on it, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, a, a lot of... Uh, a lot of great characters, and the rate at which they release new characters is pretty impressive to me. Uh, a, a lot higher rate than, than they came out with characters for either Overwatch or Battleborn. Um, and they're, they're all pretty unique and interesting. I love trying out all the different new characters. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to finish it up there. If you want to keep watching my... Uh, terrible <laughs> aim on a console, uh, feel free, uh, but uh, otherwise, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, maybe I'll do some a, a more in-depth comparison of, of the game uh, of, of Overwatch and um, uh, Paladins later, because uh, I, I think there are a lot of cool breakdowns I could make, uh, especially when it comes to characters, uh, which I know was sort of the most controversial, controversial point of uh, this game. Uh, anyway. All right, guys. See you next time.
killing spree. Attack up a mid to push the payload. Triple kill. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 